sixth grade when I had the music store in Galesburg, Illinois, I was starting this teaching program. A woman came in one night, and she had this guitar in a plastic and a paper bag. I wanted to trade it in to get a good one for her son. It looked like a piece of barn site. This back was all peeled off of it, and the top was split, and it was, it did. It just looked like a piece of in a barn siding laying out in the wood. I gave her a few dollars for it and threw it under the counter. And a few months later, I went to clean up and uh, dug this thing out, and it got scratched. And I said, oh, that's really good. So I started cleaning this thing up, and it's got a solid spruce top. This is called a parlor guitar. This probably goes back to the turn of the century. And in those days, uh, my grandmother, I've got a picture of my grandmother and her sister playing the uh, guitar and mandolin, and I have the mandolin. But uh, women uh, uh, play social work groups and uh, churches and things like that. And, and the women played the guitar. It wasn't a man's instrument. Uh, it was for women. You know, except in Europe where they played classical. So they made a smaller guitar. That's what this thing is. And uh, it's a beautiful guitar, but one problem. You look at that, you see how high those strings are up off that fretboard? Real hard to play once you get beyond the first three or four frets. You get down in here, your fingers are down in the strings, and you can't do much with it. And it also pulls it out of tune. And I had really no use for it except for hanging on the wall and it sat in the garage for about 20 years and we moved recently. And in the course of moving, somebody stuck the thing in my office and then we were about TV for three months, so we had nothing to do and I was sitting around tinkering with this thing. And lo and behold, I was playing blues. And I've been working three and a half years on a blues book. All those licks I'm trying to do on a thousand dollar guitar or on this thing and an electric didn't sound right to do it on this, it comes out sounding blues. Well then I start putting two things together. Blues was really is a uh, the old black musicians' music. They came out of the plantations of Alabama and Mississippi and Louisiana. Uh, they they created a sound of music, a style that's still being emulated. And then I realized those poor old guys, they played broken down pieces of equipment that were handed down, glued back together, pawn shop instruments. And Lord knows what they were out, made out of. And I know for a fact that many times they used uh, screen door wire for strings, especially the high ones. And what you find when you have instruments like that, number one, you can't tune them to pitch. If you did, the neck, the neck would bow up, the top would fly off, you're gonna have a problem. So they always tune low, and it gives you a mellow sound. Now listen to this guitar. Now listen to this one. Way down there, very mellow sound. So it gives you that type of sound. And then the other thing I realized is, uh, just like this one, you can't tune it. I can tune it where it sound good in a couple of chords, and I hit that third one, and it's going to be out of tune. You've got different frequencies of notes, and almost sound pretty good, and one's way off. So you, you've got a tuning problem. And then you can't play down in the middle of the neck very much, because if you do, you hang up on notes, and your fingers are snapping into the strings, and you muddle. What they did, they eliminated a lot of notes. And that's the hallmark of blues. You have a simply, they, they go to a pentatonic five note scale instead of a major diatonic seven note scale, which I don't want to get into, but they, they have a simple scale. And then they didn't play all the melody notes because they couldn't get them. They stumbled over them, but they developed a way to make it work. And of course, their singing covered up a lot of the sins of the plan. And that's what I was sitting here doing with this guitar one night. And I thought, Gee, I didn't do all that. It sounds good. <laughs> So, uh, this thing is in tune to an E, to an A chord, a D, and an E. But if I tried anything else on here, it's going to be out of pitch. But there's some interesting things we, we can do with it. Uh, I'll be 69 in July, and uh, my kids have become concerned about the old man slipping off the wagon, you know? And when I bought my first pair of blue jeans a, a few years ago, that uh-oh, watch him. You know, he, He's dead and down the road. <laughs> and then I turned around and bought a pickup truck. That really threw him for a loop. And uh, I've never sang in public in my life. And they know that, but they can't sing. I'm going to do that tonight, too. So I'm shoot my daughter will probably leave. Right <laughs> on with me. But a couple of things I want to point out, and uh, uh, I can do it on this guitar. Thing. And uh, set, developed this little song called Big Mama. I don't know why, it just came to my mind when I there was a movie out about Big Mama, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Uh, it sort of fits the blues gender, but not. it's not really a blues song from the structure of it. I don't know. Like blues is a 12-bar arrangement with a chord progression a certain established way. It never varies. You can play one blues and play them all. This is not quite like that, but it fits in that category. When I learned how to play the fingerstyle guitar, I played I wanted to emulate Chet Atkins, and you do that. You get that. And that's your bass line, and you have your metal there on the top. And I never learned to do the old simple way, which is a boom chuck. Get the back strum on the other, every other beat. Start tinkering with this one night, and I wound up with that. <laughs> So, uh, I'm going to try this thing on this. I've been practicing it at home for some reason. But what I want to do is run through this a little bit, sing the melody to establish the chord progression and where the notes are, and then we're going to take a look at how simple it is to play the blues and do things about harmony and theory the easy way. Yeah, we'll play the guitar on it. 